Middle-aged Canadians who suffer a heart attack, stroke, or cardiac arrest are less likely to be employed three years after the health scare. That's one of the observations being made in a new study, which also found those who can keep working routinely experience a significant reduction in income. In a study published in the Canadian Medical Association Journal, researchers looked at the long-term effects of cardiovascular events like stroke and the impact it has on a person's ability to work and their annual earning potential. We studied this across Canada and we found that people who have a heart attack or a stroke or a cardiac arrest and survive three years at the three-year point, so far out from their event, that there was a substantial decrease in the ability to work and earn. A third of heart attacks, a quarter of strokes, and 40% of cardiac arrests when experienced by those under 65 can have lingering physical and cognitive effects, and that can have a drastic impact on the type of work a person can do or their ability to return to the job they previously had no issue performing. If somebody, for instance, let's just say they work in an office, um, let alone they have a manual labor job, but if they work in an office but can no longer get around to the office because they can't walk well or they are right-handed and they can no longer write or type with their computer terminal, that can affect the ability to work and earn. The study links Stats Canada hospitalization data with tax returns from about 24,000 middle-aged Canadians who suffered a cardiac event. Then it compared the data against those middle-aged Canadians who remained healthy. Researchers discovered the financial loss was substantial, ranging from 8 to 31 percent in reduced earnings. So again, some people undoubtedly had relatively little, some people had more. Now what we know is that some people became completely unable to work. So we looked at that as well, the percentage of people People who are unable to work. When someone in their 40s is told they can no longer work, that doesn't mean they can immediately retire. And depending on what their savings are like, they might not be able to afford their current standard of living. So what should those who experience a cardiovascular event under 40 do? And that, in fact, I think is the major potential impact of our finding. So for the individual who has a heart attack or a stroke, our paper isn't going to help them. But it's information that we believe will be useful to governments and other policymakers to help them understand the magnitude of the problem and help them try to design interventions and policies to try to assist these people in getting back to work. In Winnipeg, Mark Neufeld, City News.